Vladimir and Rashma take over. Everyone, uh, Vladimir Mitnick will be presenting the um, test plan for Dash. Uh, we had a uh, few discussions earlier where the uh, intention was to have something of a plan or uh, test plan overall for Dash. Um, and uh, and the suggestion was to use uh, what we have uh, been working on uh, as part of the test harness that we are building and the test cases. We also had this test plan that uh, Voldemort Mitnick, would you like to present? Yeah, yeah, one second. Can share I will share my screen. Yes. Yeah, so do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so today we're going to uh, <clears throat> discuss a little bit. Maybe just uh, give a brief overview about this pull request. So we created like <clears throat> probably a few weeks ago, I think. Uh, Anton uh, actually mainly work in this. And uh, we created the test plan for PTF test cases uh, to cover the, uh, let's say, for, starting from the VNet use case. So there was a couple <clears throat> of comments already. Some of them are addressed, but I want just to go through through the pull request and through the changes what we have there. So uh, let's maybe switch to the view. Uh, OK, so uh, this is the folder for the test plan and actually the test is uh, folder is a root folder for all test cases also. So uh, all test cases that we are adding uh, for the dash PTF test cases, we also cover them in the test plan. So it means that anyone else who is adding that test case or updates it, uh, so should update this test plan accordingly and uh, just you know to keep in sync everything here. So uh, we have some, uh, we split it this uh, test plan for overlay ENI connection tracking VNet to VNet, and we can like uh, go to each of them uh, to see what are there. Uh, there is some requirements, performance stuff, which is just a to do stuff. And there is a test suite that describes what we plan to, uh, to test uh, there. And if we go, for example, DNI, we separated it out. Uh, we also have some uh, uh, description. There's a brief, brief description of the test cases. And uh, we have the list of uh, the use cases that are covered. And we also specify here what uh, test cases uh, are related to this particular use case. So you can find this name in the uh, test case uh, script itself. Okay, and there is some brief uh, description of each of them. We're still working on this uh, pull request anyway, so uh, we are updating uh, time to time. So uh, if uh, someone is interesting in, in this, I mean updating. Uh, I know that there is some work is going on with uh, ACL, so uh, this test plan also can be used for, say, updating and powering the additional uh, ACL uh, use cases. And uh, yeah, and VNet to VNet uh, also short. So what we have here. Uh, test suits, album routing, and uh, uh, let's say test name in the script, and uh, brief description and detail description is over here. In bed routing test cases, some integration tests, negative tests, uh, uh, scaling still, if, if it needs to be defined, and some questions that uh, are needed to be clarified before uh, moving. moving so uh, this test plan is actually in review at this moment and uh, what we ask community to, to review it because we would like to uh, have it merged uh, as soon as possible. Uh, we understand that this is still like it's a beginning, right? We will be updating anyway, but uh, we want to collaborate on this. For example, if someone 
trying to add new test cases, so it would be really great to have uh, the test plans also updated and collaborate on the same stuff. Uh, and briefly, that's it from my side. And Reshma, if you want to add something. So yeah, I think um, uh, there is a lot of content here. Please let us know if we should go through a test plan sort of a review in maybe a, this type of a call or a, a sub meeting, sub group, uh, you know, during behavior model or something where we can walk through each step and collectively decide and add more or please review it offline. And then maybe, you know, soon as we uh, merge this, uh, the, merge the initial version that we have here, we can add more to it. Uh, I think uh, IPv6 ACL uh, was something also that was newly being added by, by Hanif. So, yeah, we can just add all of that here on, on once we merge this and create new PRs on top. Is this okay? Christina and everyone. I have no objection. It looks good to me. Chris, I know you joined late. Um, what do you think? Yeah. These are all under the test folders um, structure. Yeah, I think I I think I reviewed it and okayed it, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, cool. <laughs> and uh, you know, we've been working on test cases as well, and there's a lot yeah. of uh, alignment, so that's a good thing. Good. Sounds good. Yeah, and that, uh, that, that is, yeah. there is a few comments from the Chris already. So Chris, aware about this pull request. Very well. Yes, yeah, so I fixed. I yeah. fixed. <laughs> That's, uh, I probably need to go in and uh, approve. Then yeah, yeah, we're playing catch up with each other. And looks like Prince is also looking at this one. Uh, at least there is uh, there, there are yeah few yeah I'm I'm going to review this yeah oh, thank you please okay thanks thanks Chris so if there is no any other objection so I will just stop sharing thank you and for the, the contribution yeah um the IPv6 cycle uh, there was an issue raised by um, Hanif earlier I think. Um, uh, Vladimir and Anton went through that, and it, it turned out uh, that there was no change required in the PTF harness, but there was still some issue that had to be fixed. Um, yeah, and that's resolved now. Uh, it's environment related. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Hanif already merged even, so that's we, dis yeah. we discussed in email, and uh, so there was a, a solution actually in the test code. So the yeah, one line, one missing line in the Python. Okay. That's 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 yeah, we're past that. Okay. Uh, anyone else have a topic for today, or a PR they want to look at? I have a topic except of PR. Yeah, so that's uh, the question to the, maybe to the prince. So that's uh, what he asked. So maybe there is some updates on the uh, sonic management part. Maybe some uh, visibility when we can uh, have some maybe over latest plan to look at it for the sonic management or some updates to the topology. Do you have any? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? Yeah, yeah. the uh, question whether we have any updates, Dash related updates for the Sonic management uh, test framework. Maybe some uh, most interested. I'm like I'm most interested in uh, over latest plan. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think the the PR should be ready like this week or early next week. So the the team is working on. Uh, uh, on creating the sonic management PR. I think that for the test plan, um, uh, I believe we are uh, referring to the dash uh, a VNet to VNet test plan that uh, that's available today. So there's no separate test plan, but the implementation of the uh, of the sonic management will be ready by by this week or next week. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.
Great, thank you so much. Anyone else before we go? I don't see anyone new on the call for introductions. I, I mean, I didn't introduce Kishore last time. Kishore, do you want to introduce yourself since you're new? Hi, sorry, I was muted. Yeah, my name it's is okay. Kishore from Marvel. Uh, I think I know many of you through uh, various uh, other engagements that we've been had in our past. But glad to be here, part of this project. Hey, Kishore, good to see you here. Chris. Hey, Kishore. Hey, Chris. Hey. Awesome. Okay. Then I'll stop the recording. I think that's all we have for today. Um, so, always, I, I remember there was some discussion merging those tests into the Sony management, right? So where 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 is that e that effort going? Um, Guhan, this test plan that we presented. Um, oh, the other the test cases that we have been adding, right? The VNet to VNet, etc. Yeah, you know, like uh, the the, the uh, you know to, to set up the test bed, right? So so where where is that effort going? So, you know, like running those, those tests from the sonic management, right? So. Right. Oh, there, there's not much effort on that front because I think, you know, it's hard to maintain these two different uh, test yeah. framework. Right. So um, I think Prince had mentioned that the VNet to VNet test, test cases that we have been adding that will be used, uh, utilized in the sonic management. There is a thread going on about that uh, re re review going on as well. Uh, uh, no, no, what, there, oh. no, what I mean is that, uh, you know, those, uh, those uh, currently this, uh, this uh, dash uh, test, those side tests should be also be able to run it in the sonic management, right? So, you know, set up the topology, those kind of things. I think our overall right. <clears throat> test bed uh, infrastructure setup, et cetera, there, there are plans to dovetail it into sonic management one, like in about four months or so, wasn't it, Chris? And Mircha? Yeah, I think that was the discussion that we, we still need to get these tests, you know, even working um, mm -hmm. on behavior model. And we don't actually have, you know, DPUs that can run in the sonic management test bed, right? There, there's not even standard sonic interfaces yet so it's a little premature yeah but it's it's definitely in the plans we just needed no some no, more development. no no i i didn't mean that i mean you know okay. even for those uh size swift tests right so you need to set up the test bed i mean you know whatever the test that currently can be running uh you know you know setting up those test beds that should be aligned so that we can you know, use the sonic management to set up the test and run the test, right? So on 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 a on DPU? Yeah. Okay. Well we don't even have a DPU we can run tests on yet. But then how do we run not, the the current those uh, dash tests? Uh, you know the, the Well the publicly uh BMB two. But there's also some tests being run, let's say out of community's eye on vendors implementations, but those are not really available. And for vetting, right? There's no public way to vet any of these. There's, you know, let's right, say- Those are closed people, discussions, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. People, people are doing work and, and vendors may be implementing bits of this on their own, but it's not really public, right? There's nothing really officially ready yet. So we can't really yeah. test any of this. No, but the test bed the setup, those kind of uh, setup can be aligned, right? So I understand the implementation may not be available, but uh, you know the um, you know for for the for the whole test setup that you know we should adopt a common framework to to set up and align that with the sonic management, right? So mm -hmm. has, has anyone made any progress on that that they can? disclose in terms of having you know implementation that runs in that framework oh uh, the framework uh, was uh, uh tested on um intel's uh, ipu dpu 
um, and then uh, only uh, uh, upstreamed. So, but yeah, it is not uh, public yet. Yeah, yeah, but uh, no, I, I don't think we, we 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 need that, right? So I'm just saying the framework, how to set up the, for example, whatever vendor, uh, you know, we are working with, or the, you know, um, anyone that, uh, for example, if the vendor wants to run the test, right, defined mm -hmm. by this, uh, you know, this dash test, they, they need a way to set up the test bed, right? So then, then for those things, I think, you know, we previously agreed to align with the sonic management to use the same way to set up the test bed, right? So I remember there was earlier discussion on that. And then, um, you know, that, that we get aligned so that people who ever familiar with the, you know, traditional sonic test bed setup can use the same way to set up the test bed and run the test, right? So. So as I understand, we need to have like something kind of PTF2 topology type because we have PTF32, PTF62, but we should have small one. So exactly, the, exactly, yes. yeah, yeah. So the, from the commit uh, that mentioned Prince, I saw that uh, there was a new topology appliance for two ports, but this is uh, another one, so PTF2. So maybe like Prince, do you have something like that in the like, uh, roadmap to have that, say, PTF2? No, and then PTF is not in my roadmap right, right now. Yeah, Just focusing on the the actual test bed with fan outs and all. There is already a test bed with uh, Richard, right? Uh, I think Richard, you has a test bed working with Rita uh, for the PTF. Do we want to augment that test bed? Is that what you were suggesting, Gohan? Or? Yeah, and also, you know, I remember this uh, this uh, dash uh, test. Uh, it also, uh, you know, connect with uh, some connect with this uh, uh, traffic generator, right? So then, you know, how can we uh, define that? And uh, you know, then people have a standard way to look. Okay, how do I set up the test bed physically, and then run set of a command to provision the test bed? Then they can run the test, right? So. You know, not, I mean, we can start with a PTF, which is already available, but then, you know, uh, for those uh, for those uh, traffic generator based tests, which do, you know, we can also, you know, move to the same test bed so they can, we can run it and maintain it, right? So. Like I believe that right now we can add only some topology files for the PTF two. That's it because uh, anyway we do not have anything like CIVS for the dash. So the current BMV two it's not the same as CIVS. That might be like some future future task or once we have some uh, hardware that we, then we will be able to prove. Yeah, because like so see that right now, if I want to try, for example, any kind of topology, I'm able to use CIVS for it. I can uh, spin out, spin out like topology on the VMs, but for the dash, there's no such stuff. So like the only thing that we can do is like uh, the same as uh, Prince commit for appliance topology for the PTF2 topology, but uh, every vendor will need to like to go that on their own to set it up for the hardware. So, so for the for this, uh, you know, this uh, side challenge with dash enhancement, uh, then what what is the what is the test bed set up there? The same one for the dash test bed. Uh, we have um, it is the same. Uh, you know, we we need um, basically. Uh, two hosts, uh, and um, we have the client of the PTF running on one, and then the server that has uh, also the DPU in it. And we have uh, mentioned uh, the topology diagrams that are required in the PTF document. Uh, so far, uh, this is how we have tested, and um, 
instead of using a DPU in the second host where the server runs, we can use BMV2. And um, yeah, this is all that's needed from PTF side. Uh, we have tested it on uh, the DPU that we have. And, and I think we have already merged uh, all the code changes and the HLDPR is also merged into the side that just went out, uh, 1.10, um, that has all the uh, dash enhancements in PTF. Oh, Reshma, does that mean we can change the uh, sub-module branch in the dash repo from um, your fork to the main? You could. But we will have again more and more changes here, so it's up to whatever we have. Uh, Chris, Chris, so there is uh, one change uh, for the PTF itself, which is uh, just change, changing the PTF version in the side repo itself. So change needs to be handled before the uh, main. Right, so the answer, the quick answer is no, we're still waiting for that to propagate up to Psi main. Uh, yeah, I would, I would expect yes. But ha okay. have we have we started those discussions with the Psi? I mean, you know, we should. I mean, if we are not expecting those header changes, we should, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, have that discussion and get into merge into the main, right? So. Right, right. First, uh, uh, one thing is that we presented all the changes that we have done uh, for for Dash in PTF to uh, make the entire framework itself work with the fewer ports and uh -huh. also how we were changing the tests and all those things. We already presented in the SAI community. That was about a month ago. And then the HLDPR was already merged to SAI and the code PR also was merged into SAI 1.10. It's already there now. Okay. Well, then what, what prevent us to, you know, from yeah. uh, using so, the... Let, let me explain. Uh, so, uh, PTF, PTF framework is using the PTF uh, to generate the traffic, right? Yeah. So, and it includes the PTF repo, some, some really old version of the PTF. Yeah. So, we are not talking about the PTF framework that we changed. So, the changes for the PTF to run the cases on the let's say dash is is already merged okay so the framework changes changes i mean but it, when i'm saying the ptf so i'm talking about the ptf as a traffic gen which is included as a sub model in inside repo yeah so that's the, p4 line change. yes yes so there is a one change for the ptf as a traffic gen itself which we found one issue there so uh this is why we still using uh, the the custom repo at this moment because it includes the fix for the VX1 packets. So once no. the fix for the VX1 packets are merged in the PTF itself, then we can move, let's say, uh, PTF inside repo to some latest uh, version. Do we have a? Are we working on getting the the P4 lang to accept those changes in the PTF? Basically, yeah, we can exactly what I was going to say that, you know, we can have internal discussion and, you know, the P4 line co-chair is already here. We should be on the same page. And I think, uh, yeah, we can take that further, get that completed in the, uh, present it on the Friday P4 line meeting. All right. So we have, we have to propagate up through two sub modules to eventually change what Dash is using. Yep. Yeah, Chris. We need P4 line slash ptf project to be uh, fixed and then merged into main and then we need to import that into the psi ptf uh, or as a psi test ptf sub module and then merge that into psi main mm -hmm. then then we'll be able to use psi main in dash did i say that correctly yes yes chris correct Okay. Or we can we can think about how we can you know, maybe change the PTF only. Maybe it's also an option. It's an option. But uh, what you said, yes, this is the right path. Yeah. So that's kind of illustrates Gohan, like we were talking about in an earlier meeting. Sometimes we need to use branches until the the external process works its way through, and that can take months. 
yeah, this one we will try to push on as fast as possible. Okay, so on this uh, um, this dash test, right? So, because uh, I'm trying to understand the, the test that uh, on this uh, PR two fifty nine. Um, so there are this PTF test, size swift test, and there are this uh, test, the size vnet in a different test folder. So what was the difference between these two tests and the uh, uh, you know, I, I know the, the, the PTF test can be run it in the BMV2 environment, right? So what about the other test? How do we run them? Where do we run? What is the environment to run them? It is the same BMV2 um, environment. If I understand correct, you are uh, about that uh, the one we, that we presented last week. So that's still BMV2 environment still the same, the only that it introduces snappy traffic gen. Uh, that's, that's it. Like, uh, but uh, the setup is the same. So still we have like, uh, be, uh, let's say, DUT two ports. We still have for all other lips, uh, but like uh, replacing but the, with- But then are we running them in the, uh, in the CI part, you know, in, in this CI? Integration, you know, I think for the PDF, for the all the tests that have been running on that, on that, right? So, not running because they're not merged. No, no, no. Oh, are you saying no? I so this part I don't get it. I mean, you, we, you know, the environment, uh, even in the PR, remember, you know, for the PTF, uh, the, uh, you know, the PR can test it, right? So all this PR can be tested, those tested, this test can test those PR. So why, but why, you know, I think whether merge or not, uh, those tests, uh, if it if it's, uh, can be run, we should run it, right? So, well, what is the, maybe I didn't quite get this part. Why, why it's not, you know, what's the environment to run those tests and, uh, 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 are, are we talking about PR 217? I'm just, I'm getting a little bit lost. No, not to two. No, not two two seventy nine, right? So, oh, uh, uh, maybe like uh, that's uh, an another issue. You, you mean that we have tests folder and we have dash pipeline folder. Both contain test cases. And yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So that's uh, I will explain then. So uh, we at Intel uh, committed to the da, to the tests folder dash we net test case and yes we expect that that will be a proper uh, pass for all test cases in the future but all currently we, we, real uh, we, yeah so but we currently we are not running them on ci because bmv2 has some lack of features so we already raised up this question on the bmv2 model meeting so that some underlay calls uh, are not supported even even there was just uh, even issue with getting number of ports which is uh, extremely important for the ptf framework because we are getting number of ports and then creating some objects in the ptf and so on and if bmv2 doesn't uh, does not return this this is like an issue and uh, that's why we committed that test case to the proper pass and we expect in future to add all new test cases there but uh, right now it, it running of that test is disabled because uh, bmv2 readiness so like once all blocking issue are fixed definitely we will uh, have to move to the, have to move to that new proper location, the final one in the test folder, and we will commit even more test cases uh, uh, like uh, and enable them on the CI. So at this stage, yeah, so that's I opened a few issues uh, regarding that for the uh, one was fixed, if I'm not mistaken, but there are a few more. Mm. So which test you said you, we cannot run the, the one on the test folder or the, the one on the uh, the dash pipeline test folder? 
So dash pipeline. So let's uh, assume that this is kind of a test for environment, just to ensure that environment works, everything uh, like is uh, imported and so on. Because the tests itself are written for the BMV2 only. So that's uh, on the hardware, the behavior will be different. And the in the tests folder, we are we the cases that are let's say hardware oriented. But the problem is not because hard like the problem is that BMV2 does not support some calls that that it should. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, uh, planned to fix. So for but OK, but what once BMV2 fix my understanding, <coughs> my understanding that this test requires the snap interface to generate the traffic, right? Not not really. So that's functional part is ready to use PTF. So it's OK. So that's fu functional the way where we committed the dash minutes case. It doesn't require it. Uh, the like st standard PTF tests uh, test. You, you can run it on the PTF environment. Oh, that's and functional. But but what about the not non functional like uh, um, you yeah, know, those yeah. scale for, tests. For, yeah, for non-functional, there was uh, so we we about to introduce Snappy for running line rate traffic for, to be able to connect to suffix network. So that's that's work in progress. Uh, but uh, are you saying that current? Uh, all these tests does not generate the traffic. The, the, no, no, they, the gen they generate all. All of them generate traffic. The question only uh, in in which way? Because uh, functional tests are using the PTF as a traffic generator, and uh, they are sending like a uh, few packets, to, and they do like my personal understanding. So that's uh, the idea that in the PTF and functional, we are going to. Uh, uh, analyze deep packets, so we are verifying that packet transformation, everything is okay, but we are sending just a few packets. And uh, in the non-functional, the idea is to send uh, line rate, to send millions of packets. And yeah, yeah, for that one, right, so I'm looking at, uh, you know, on the scale folder, right? So is that non-functional? Is that scale test under the scale folder? Uh, Currently in main, if I'm not mistaken, there's there's some uh, examples. So, so maybe Mirchi can give. Yeah, so Vinet to Vinet, it's. Uh... So I'm looking at this test underscore sci underscore Vinet underscore inbound dot py, which is under this uh, scale folder. That can you one... share the link? Go on, could you share a link or the one for hardware? I, have a hard time uh, I don't know, like, uh, yeah, let me see if I can, I can share. I'm looking at this, the, this one, right? So, um, this one, this one is uh, under scale folder, right? So, and uh, so this one, it seems to still using the PTF to generate the traffic, right? So could could you share the link, Let's Gohan? See, I, I, I put it in the chat order. window. Yeah. No, I can. I can also, I, you know, share share I the don't screen. See right? it. I Are you sure it. you're in the right <laughs> meeting? Oh no! I assume so. I think I did share in the right meeting. I, I think yeah, yeah, absolutely right meeting. I I don't see it. Oh okay, okay, okay. That's Maybe I didn't screen. push the send window. But but ah, see, this test, <laughs> but this test, right? So this test, it seems still using the PTF uh, generator, not not using the uh, the snap interface to generate a traffic. Oh, right? that, okay, so that's one is written that can be launched on both. Like it's uh, supported that something that we showed last uh, meeting. So that just uh, 
a matter of the environment you need to put the proper JSON file where you so the, the which well, what are the tests that the user snap interface I believe so the one that is uh, being proposed as the part of the PR with side challenger which uh, has yeah this is, the, this is the PR I'm okay, looking so at right take, so which take one look at the test uh, sci outbound but there should be scales because they're simple in scale. This is simple. Right? Oh, this scale? Yeah. Okay, and see that it's a little bit different API for running traffic. Like scale, vignette, outbound flows, uh, set config, start traffic, and wait for like yes, yeah, so it's a different API, which is this is fixed packet. Next is fixed duration, where where, where we send. So where where is this uh, star traffic gets implemented? Uh, in the uh, uh, scroll up in the file list, there's some dash helpers folder. Oh, sorry, that, uh, dash. In the uh, in the left pane, just scroll up because there should be. Uh, Helper for uh, yeah, dash helper. Yeah, we need to we need helper. This one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that one is for snappy because it uh, well, start traffic set config it's standard uh, methods. But here we are just here we configuring flows in the. I couldn't find that the star traffic master. Uh, you, you you won't find it because it's uh, it's based on the from it's from the sub module because we are he, here we we here not defining like in the PTF you we are using Sci Challenger and uh, Sci Rift as a sub module here so we there's no definition of the star it, traffic and so. Yeah, it's part of the traffic generator abstraction inside Challenger, right? Yeah. Oh, so you're you're saying I can f find the here? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can find it here in the data plane. Mm. Data plane snappy, for example. Yes, so it's no, it's yeah. and side data plane. That's one. It's actually inher uh, inherited from other uh, classes, but let like uh, you should find it here. <coughs> okay. So for <coughs> for this snappy, right? So how how does he know you know he use EXCL or not? Is there uh, an initiative? So, so self mod actually that's uh, something that you are defining when you create in that topo, uh, test bed uh, JSON file. So you can you you can set Xnet T Rex. So, so so actually right now you can, you can see it right. Yeah, here? you can see it right here. If self mode is ixnet to rex. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, actually, the difference only that we are putting for putting some extension and uh, the rest in the JSON file. The code uh, does not is not is independent from the what uh, backend you're using for Snappy, which backend you're using. Okay. So all this code are under Apache license? Yep. Okay. Uh, 
uh, yeah, but but then back to the question is so how is that uh, uh, you know test topology being set up? You know, I understand the you know you you, you uh, have uh, okay okay <clears throat> so like uh, initial question so there is no scripts to set up that topology so we are dependent that uh, it was uh, pre set up let's say by the by someone by someone else before so the idea yeah so the idea is that probably sonic management has an ansible which is doing setting up of the topology here we have some scripts for doing uh, but the, is there a description of the topology in order to run this test? Where, the description where, where, of the topology is uh, defining the way how to connect to the environment. How to connect the, where, to the where, environment where, and what to, to expect in the environment. Okay, so where, there should be a JSON file. No, no, no. Let's see that uh, there is IDP client server PTF or Snappy, two files uh, below, below, a little bit, yeah. So uh, above, above. <laughs> far uh they start inside underscore dpu client server this one yeah yeah <clears throat> yeah so that's it's topology description but it's uh, it defines what to expect what it, it doesn't use to, for uh, setting up topology uh, like uh, expectation because then framework will know how to connect so in that case oh, let's you switch to the snappy for example it will be expecting that snappy is up and running and uh, it can connect to it in the mode in the xsc mode okay I don't know, like alias or CC, is there a, some kind of a, um, I'm not sure what is the alias you need means here. Alias is a kind of name just for ref reference because here we have in the connections you have uh, then using, you can use alias. So that's, I'm using the, for example, zero one, but like it, it could be any anything actually. And then in the test, the main idea actually is that in the test code, then you are uh, referring to the uh, port by the alias. So that you don't you you don't care whether this is VES one, VES three, or uh, like something how uh, EMP zero, EMP one doesn't matter for you. You are just using zero one. Okay. Oh, so this this test, uh, you know, you you have both uh, PTF setup and the snappy setup. So in the test, you would define which setup you're going to use and then select the uh, corresponding setup, right? So yeah. Okay. Now, how do I know this test using the PTF setup? Uh, at this moment, uh, I put just marks like my mark PTF, so the PTF mark PTF. Uh, but uh, uh. Uh, yeah, so maybe it's like uh, the idea, like in future, to have maybe some uh, smart marks like in the Sonic management that uh, we can just skip if test if environment is not supported. Because anyway, you you have you are providing the JSON file with test bed, and you are able to know at the very early stage. Uh, the capabilities of the setup. So if test is expecting, for example, snappy and you have PTF, okay, it will be skipped and for example, vice versa as well. Mm. So this will become actually that PTF2 topology that uh, we were discussing earlier. So basically, if PTF2 topology exists, you can run the case. If PTF2 doesn't exist, yeah, you yeah. cannot run. Exactly. Yeah. So that's um... the, the PTF2 topology that the Prince mentioned, right? So 
but I didn't heard anybody volunteering to create it. So it's Prince. I, Prince, you said you don't have time. Yeah. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Uh, I think we should work with Richard. I can start a meeting. Maybe uh, Gohani, I can invite you and um, everyone you know interested. I can invite Christina. Uh, Richard basically uh, will need uh, will need to discuss how to expand and uh, expand the test bed to support the dash portion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, you know this. Uh, and traffic generator, right? So, because uh, I think a PDF is only, you, you know, doing most uh, like a functional test, right? Right. So, the first yeah. sort of thing. It yeah. Yeah. covers yeah, all the side that's objects. That's been the case from the start, yeah. And uh, we are also looking at how to integrate PDF with Snappy. Uh, we can get back on that. But uh, overall, there are lots of test cases, and all the functional test cases we have also merged. Uh, into SAI, uh, and there are more that are getting added for different uh, test cases are being added for all the uh, uh, areas, VNet to VNet, connection tracking, all that we are adding. That is, uh, yeah. Hey, where, where are those test tests? Oh, sorry, I mean, mm -hmm. the, not, not here, right? So you're not talking about here. Right. So that's, you're looking right now in the PR. So like for the uh, Intel test cases, you can look to the main because uh, actually they uh, are already merged. I pasted in the uh, chat. Go on. PR one five nine two. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we that's are that's going that's to be adding more. Yeah. yeah. No, these are not. Is that dash? No, no, no. This is not they just got side. merged to Sai as well. If these are. No, no, but are they oh. related to dash or not? So this is a Gohan. This is the underlay test cases that are related to the dash also. For example, like underlay routing, for example, it's also related to the dash. So it's underlay ah, test cases. Okay. It's not overlay. With overlay, fewer ports. New. Yeah. Yes, it, you you can run the same test cases that you you can run on the any Sony, Which, yeah. but still you can run on the AP also. And we selected uh, test cases, underlay test cases that can be run on the devices with fewer ports, like two, four, four. Okay. <coughs> and are we going to add like a, um, you know, overlay dash tests here as well, right? So. Yeah, currently we just went over that earlier in the same meeting today that we have the test plan as well as test cases and we'd like to merge merge that into dash and then also port it uh, basically uh, merge it with Sai as well. Okay. I think it sounds like we have uh many places to host different kinds of tests. And uh, I, you know, it seems like on the dash, there's the two locations and the side will have one location and maybe Sonic management will have another one. Okay. Yeah, so that's the question that I actually uh, raised a few meetings ago. So we decided to go with the test folder under the dash in the single location, but uh, like we need to stabilize actually environment. So like, the idea is to have everything in one place. Yeah, I think at one point, at some point, as Dash stabilizes and the APIs are stable and they become possibly an official part of Psi, then the Dash framework can just import those tests. It doesn't have to have them duplicated, right? Yeah. It's so, you know, maybe that part I didn't quite. So where, where are we on that? I saw the, the header file. At least what do we have defined as stabilized, right? So where where are we on, you know, getting those header files to merge into the Psi so that uh, you know we 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 can write test uh, you know uh, host those uh, yeah. So I'm just trying to understand you know who who is driving that to get those uh, API sorry those APIs to be. Uh, to be merged into the Simon branch. Yeah, I think uh, Marianne had presented in the Sci community, and I think he had raised a PR too. Oh, 
Yeah. And uh, what what is the feedback? Is there any feedback? I mean, if you guys, uh, you know, maybe Intel, you guys can merge and then we can get the, the which PR. Sure. Um, at the at the review itself went okay. No many hurdles or anything like that. So yeah. that was a while ago as well. I can find the PR. This one? Oh, it's been yes, pulled. Yes. But uh, maybe this is Camille, right? So maybe, you know, like uh, Intel and uh, yeah. whoever, you know, uh, can get it pulled and uh, we can get this merged, right? So then we, we yeah. can. We can get the process, and then later, if you have a new APIs, we'll we we'll just uh, you know discussing the Dash community, and then option get that pulled. Yeah, if we we can treat Dash as kind of an incubator, right? And then yeah. and then and then promote. And so yeah. I think that's the approach we're taking. We go the quickest way possible to make progress, and then push things uphill. Yeah. Yeah, we can help with getting this uh, reviewed and merged. We also have a uh, percent guys and other folks that can look at this PI and uh, and pool when we can get it merged, right? So maybe we should set a date. And you know, it's been this header file been Dash community for a while, right? So. Should you know, should shouldn't be any, you know, if there's an issue, then we should be raised uh, already. So it's 10, Gohan. Should we stop here for the day? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, should we keep going? Okay. <coughs> okay, guys, does everyone have their action items to go forward into the next week? I think so. Okay, cool. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you everyone, for the time and the, the in depth discussion. I appreciate it. I'm going to stop the recording. Thanks, Christina. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Gohan.